greetings. That was one of the last foragers that is just finding its way home into our swarm box. Now, we posted a video earlier about us building and putting up a swarm box to attract a wild honeybee swarm. And the last of the foragers are coming in. It's about sunset. So, the task for tonight is to close the holes to a ventilation. See, we got two different options here. And what that'll do is allow the bees to stay put as we move them to our mentor's place. We'll relocate them for about a week. At the end of that week, we'll bring them back. And that will reset their navigation mechanisms. So I'm going to wait a few more minutes until I know that as many as the foragers are come back. And then I'm going to close the holes, bring it down, load it up in the car for an early morning departure. Really excited to be catching swarms and starting our natural apiary. So I just brought the swarm box down and man, it was so alive. Closed up the vents. There was a few bees right around the lip, but no one coming in or out. So I closed them up and then with a little bit of trouble, brought them down the ladder. And then what really got me excited was putting my ear up to the hive and just hearing this, this life force, this vitality, this strength. And feeling really grateful and blessed that this hive decided to, uh, pardon me, this colony decided to show up on our land. And this is a really big step because it reminds me of the bigger picture of life and how we're not the ones in control, but we can ally with these forces. And I want to leave you with that because it's a super inspiring night for me as I take down the first swarm and 